Hello everyone. Welcome to iTube classes. Today, we are going to learn about giving goods, a very important and often heard term in the economy. Some people get confused between giving goods and luxury goods, which is not the case here. Giffin goods are non-luxury and low-income products, which does not follow the standard macroeconomic theory of demand and supply. In general, when prices rise, demand falls, and when prices fall, demand is expected to increase. But this does not work for the Giffin goods. Because Giffin goods are essential goods, people are willing to pay higher prices for that, even if the price of the goods rises. Let's understand with an example as we always do on iTube classes. Suppose, Rajiv has 100 rupees, and he needs to eat food. So, he can spend 50 rupees on rice, and 50 rupees on chicken. No problem, right? The meat is healthier and tastier to eat. Good choice. But suppose, price of the rice increases. Then what would Rajiv do? Definitely, he is going to spend more money on rice, despite high prices because, rice is essential, and meat is not. If he still spends more money on chicken, he can be hungry. This is what happens with the essential items. During the time of COVID, sanitizer became an essential item. People started buying it, even if prices were going up. Finally, there are some conditions that needs to be fulfilled if it needs to qualify as gift in good. 1. It must be an inferior good. It means demand should increase when prices go up. People consume inferior goods when they have a budget shortage. Two. Lack of close alternatives. People only spend more money on inferior goods when there's no close substitute to them. I hope you got the point. Next time, we will bring a new term for you. Please like and share the video. Kindly subscribe to the channel.